We do want to thank our sponsors. Now, one of them is Committee Coffee. So if you want some coffee, guys, check them out. Committee Coffee, you can order whatever kind of coffee you want, be it full bean or go ahead and grind it. They can do that too. So one of the things I love about them, not only is the coffee great, but this mug is fantastic. So if you guys need some decent mugs in the house, there you go. Okay, guys, we're going to start this video off with two Wilson Combat range magazines, and they are filled with, you know, okay quality. Not great for sure. 45 automatic, 230 grain jacketed hollow point from Remington. My son was pointing out some differences in how long and how tall the bullets were. They were not consistent from one bullet to the next. So I'm hoping that won't cause any problems with this absolutely gorgeous Spardella Arms full stroke commander you've seen it in videos before we're going to shoot it for the first time today let's do it all right guys 21 yards away with the spardella full stroke commander and i believe it is topped off already yes it is it has the hollow point in there the sight picture is very nice it's a like a u-notch in the rear and it's setting up that front gold sight it's out of battery it's out of battery right here on the first round. Okay. Okay. So that's the first magazine. Again, using that Remington ammo. So let's see how the second mag goes. We may have to change ammo. Good job from the slide release. Feeding the next round. It's very comfortable to shoot it. I'm getting locked in on it now. You can hear it banging the steel 21 yards away. A little quicker shots now. And those two were off to the right. Okay, so first magazine, kind of like the other 1911 we shot today. Gold and I had one malfunction. So I'm going to load it up with some different quality ammo, higher quality ammo, and we'll shoot it again. So we're reloading up with the Spardella Full Stroke Commander right here with this bonded ammo this time. This is going to be the 185 grain jacketed hollow point bonded ammunition in these two magazines. So we're definitely taking a step up in ammo. All right, let's shoot this thing. All right, here we go. It's a great trigger on this thing. The sight picture is very nice. Again, a Wilson Combat magazine here for a reload. And these are just the old range magazines. Reloading from the overhand method, which is what I like about these commanders that you can do that with. Spardella's like that. Here's the uh, safety again. Excellent. Absolutely love it, guys. The Spardella Full Stroke Commander in the new black aluminum grips from Lock Grips. Looks fantastic. I'm going to shoot it a couple more magazines today just to make sure that it's 100% and it's ready to go to be carried in my carry rotation. All right, guys, last rounds with the Spardella Custom Commander Full Stroke. We're gonna be running this box now, 45 ACP, high terminal performance, 230 grain jacketed hollow points. So that's the last box right there. And these are them in the Wilson Combat magazines. I'm going to try one of the different steel targets so it may sound a little different. Yeah, 
this. Yeah. One reload. And let's go ahead and do it single-handed. Just to prove it can be done. Yeah, single-handed, shooting it a little bit over the target. Run it 100% though. No issues, no problems. Guys, that's it for the Spardella Full Stroke. Commander, top of the line. A beautiful 1911 Commander that shot almost flawless on its first range trip. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel, and the CZ 9mm USA channel for more guns and gear reviews coming up in the future. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.